Hey guys, this is Haha Bear here. I finally came back from my two week long vacation from Europe. Um, the vacation, the trip was really fun actually. I enjoyed a lot of stuff um, when I was around there. I visited all the famous places. I tried out lots of food, like the stuff that I've never tried before, like snails and stuff like that. It was pretty awesome. It was a definitely a great experience. My first time visiting Europe ever. And I'm glad to come back from it unscathed because of the fact that there were so many terrors going there, including Yiddish terror, there was a um, Nice terror, and there was like a coup d'etat in Turkey, there was a head-on collision of trains in Italy, and so on and so on. And um, yeah, I'm excited to come back from it uh, unharmed. And on top of that, I'm excited to come back from the vacation to find this delivered to my doorstep. A G540 by XP Pen Technology, uh, born for game also in drawing. And as you can see here, I'm very excited to see that the company finally listened to my feedback of me ranting about the fact that the game also has small letters and an exclamation mark at the end as their um, official name. And on the G430 tablet, it said OSU in all caps, and you can hear my rant over here. But they got, finally got this right. I'm glad they listened to my feedback. Maybe they did. Or maybe they just uh, got a bunch of angry emails. I don't know. Anyways, this is a G540. And uh, before we get into the tablet, let's look at the, what the company says about the tablet itself. They said on their tablet uh, webpage, bring your personal creative tempo to life digitally at any moment with XP Pen G430. G540, my bad. I've been using the tablet G430, which is their previous version. For the past five months and I loved the tablet so far. It was working flawlessly. Um, I was able to bring it around for my PC cafe sessions where I would play also and um, it hasn't broken yet. So I, some people are telling me that the tablet is pretty flimsy but I haven't had an issue with that. They told me that the tablet pen kind of felt awkward. I haven't had a problem with that. So your mileage is may vary but the G430 was pretty good, so I was excited to actually get this G540, which is a quote unquote upgraded version of it. So the G540 is designed for OSU once again, and it is a plug in place, so I don't need the driver to, uh, if you were to play the OSU game only. If you were to do painting and other drawing stuff, then you might want to consider getting the driver and then doing stuff what you would do with it. Um, also, the pen is once again battery free. It's cool to see that you know companies who are going for like the OSU tablet stuff like that, they are making the the pen uh, battery less because the CTL 480 from Wacom is battery free. The G430 itself is battery free, and this one also is battery free. So that's good to see. And as the name suggests, since it's G540, it is five by four inches. Uh, dimensions. I haven't, you know, realized that detail until I was, you know, looking at the name itself. And G430 is four by three inches because it's 430. And um, yeah, so it is a larger drawing area. So it had you have more active area of uh, playing. Also, some people were having issues with the smaller area of the G430. So I guess this is a good option for you if you want a little bit of a larger area. And uh, the usual, you know. Mac and Windows stuff like that. Cool. And um, this is an Amazon website. They have this tablet listed on Amazon for $70. It is on sale for $35. On this website, Amazon, it says it's 5.5 by 4 inches. I have no idea why the dimension is different as opposed to the advertised 5 by 4 inches, but we'll get into that later. And there are no reviews because it's the first one. Nice. So back to the tablet now. It is G540 by XP Pen Technology. And I will start the unboxing. It is in its uh, usual cardboard box, just like the G430. Exciting part, let's open it up. 
Okay. So our foam protecting cover. And um yeah, let's look at the um before we get to the tablet, let's look at the um, included goodies here. First. So we have the pen. It's a um G540 pen instead of a G430 pen. I have my G430 pen right with me, so I'll probably compare it right away. Um, this pen is, interestingly enough, I think it's the exact same dimensions as the G430 pen. I think so too. This is a G430 pen and this is a G540 pen. And to be, to be honest, I think they're like exactly the same thing. Which I'm okay with because, you know, G430 didn't, the pen didn't really uh, fail at all, so I'm okay with the pen itself. For some reason, it feels like the G540 pen is a little bit lighter. Maybe it's just a placebo. So, yeah, that's the pen. The quick start guide is a lot thicker now for some reason, but I don't see it. Oh, because, you know, it has other languages too. It even, have, it even has Korean. I'm pretty surprised. Okay. Um... Any question, please contact us. Thank you for, you know, thank you so much for your interest and support in XP Pen, the usual stuff. Hey, it says get one more month warranty. It's just a warranty card if you like for our Facebook, YouTube, and VK, you'll get one more month warranty. Interesting. And um, I'm pretty sure this is where the nibs are stored. Yep, and the nib remover is right here in this box. So now let's get to the tablet. Oh my god, this reminds me of CTL 480. Um, the thickness is very similar to the CTL 480. It's very um smooth. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, um, move the plastic. There we go. Whew. That's pretty good. Actually, the, tab the tablet feels solid. The G430, the problem was that the tablet, you know, was thought to be very flimsy because of how it was built on the edges and stuff like that but this tablet feels pretty solid and i'm very glad that um, g540 is something that is not just a uh, size upgrade but is more of a hardware upgrade also but to be fair it is also a lot heavier a lot heavier than the g430 and um to compare with my g ctl480 which is right here um, I think the active area is very similar, although I don't know the exact dimensions. Um, the tablet feels almost as heavy. I think they're almost the same in terms of weight. That's how I feel it right now. And um, the sturdiness is, to be fair, I think the G540 is a little bit more sturdy in terms of uh, how it's built and you know the components are feeling so far. Of course, you know we'll have to look at it, look into it when I actually use the tablet itself so it has um i believe this is an led and i don't think this really does anything but um when i plug in the tablet i'll come back to it and see tell you guys how this tablet works hey guys i'm back with the tablet and um, basically this tablet is um works exactly the same as the g430 um the tablet has you know, monitor mapping the buttons the area it can change also. The difference would be that you know the full area is not default in this case because on the G430 the full area was a default resolution for the uh, area and now it has forced proportions for your monitor resolution I believe. The dimensions are changed accordingly by default. I haven't touched it so it's a new thing, new feature for this one. One click and the pressure point, etc., etc. Pretty simple stuff. Um, also has you know the tablet rotation for left-handed people, and yeah. So that's basically it. That's the driver. And if I were to point out one more thing, the difference for this tablet would be that um, instead of the G430, which has the tablet wire coming from this end, which is the left side of the tablet which is your right here, um, instead of coming from the left side, you know, it still has 
an attached cable you cannot detach it but the best thing is that now they have this you know um, I don't know what this is called this velcro that you can tidy up your cable when you are just wrapping it up and you know carrying it around this is supposed to be like the status indicator light and that's it I'll see how this tablet works when I come back Okay, the tablet works just fine once again. The only difference would be that on the G430s, it is much flatter, so you just basically have to put your wrist onto it, onto the table or like a desk. But like this tablet, your wrist kind of goes on top of the tablet itself rather than sitting on the um, edge of the tablet, so that would be a little bit of a difference if you were to use the G540 and it actually took me a little bit more time to get used to it the CTL480 has a thinner I would say um, border and well as opposed to G430 which almost has no border because it's so thin this has a thicker border so your wrist um, rests on top of the tablet edge more so than any other tablet that I own so far so that would be like the difference. Other than that, um, one thing that I noticed was kind of weird was that um, the tablet edge has these four corners marked here. That was actually a little bit um, off in terms of how the area was actually um, portrayed. It's actually a little bit narrower or wider. I don't remember which one, but it wasn't actually on these corners that was marked here. So that was kind of a thing that I wanted to point out. Other than that, tablet was fine. So if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. Hey guys, so before I go, I just wanted to give you a quick more additional information on this tablet. So the reported rate is about 200 reports per second. As you guys can see on the left here, it hovers around 200 plus or minus 5. So there's that. And also, um, if you wanted to drag on this tablet, it works completely fine. It's just like um, it's very smooth. Also, I don't, I didn't have any problem with it, like trying to drag here with this tablet. Um, the nibs probably will run out eventually, but you can definitely replace it with the included nibs that they give you. And the hover distance is a little bit um, high enough for you to not have any problem while hovering with this uh, tablet. It's actually I measured it to be exactly the same as the Z430. So, and I didn't have any problem when I was playing with this, so I don't think you should have one either, unless you like hover like this high, but I doubt anyone's going to do that. Um, the tapping feels uh, pretty responsive. I think it's a little bit more responsive than the G430. I'm not too sure why. I feel like it has more responsiveness, but it feels nice and responsive, and the buttons feel nice and quick too. So there's that. If you have any more additional questions, uh, leave your comments down below, and then I'll be glad to answer it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.